never saw myself as a politician, but I did remember the words my mom used to say to me, that when your door opens, will you have the courage to walk through it? Those were words I said to my high school students numerous times, and then it was my turn. And they mirrored those words back to me and they hit home and the journey began. To bring the very important issues facing immigrants and refugees in our state front and centered. And I have the lived experience to do so. To have the voice of our communities and, and somebody that looks like our communities out there in our community stories and people back from the community actually seeing that, hey, you know, maybe we are being listened to, hopefully. I thought that the position it could leverage uh, to accomplish much more good than I could have as a, an individual within the labor movement or on the social justice front line. I've always known that representation matters. And when I saw a state sign for Pramila J. Paul running for office, I knew that if she could do it, I could do it. I know that communities like mine have been underrepresented for so long. There's a phrase, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu and communities like mine have been on the menu for far too long. It's important because representation matters. It's important that our caucus, our members, our government, our communities see us as the leaders that we can be. And it's important that diverse voices have a chance to influence our future agenda. To serve as part of leadership in the House Democratic Caucus is critically important for not only the diversity uh, and the representations in the caucus itself, but that representation has to be in the leadership, at the leadership table as well. We are only now recently gaining more people of color into the legislature who have actually fought their way through um, refugees' uh, statuses, abject poverty, who come from past uh, prison. These are the lived experiences of our communities, and those are the voices that are now being heard in the legislatures. I'm excited about the future, but we have to figure out how to mobilize that power and that voice so that we can really affect real change. Having communities of color be in leadership representation in our state is of utmost importance. Our communities have been left behind for far too long. These decisions that we make being at this table are the decisions that will affect our state for years to come. It is extremely important to have a diverse view and diverse voices and diverse representation to make sure all communities are cared for, all communities' voices are heard. I'm so honored and proud to be at the table. My experiences shape my decisions. Presenting as a Latina, um, I bring everything that is part of my story, my mother's story and the generations before me. I don't make decisions just on facts. There's also personal experiences. I am impacted by my story and I'm informed by my community and their stories, the stories they continue to tell me to this day. It is about community I'm representing. It is about the voices that have not been heard. It is about us. As we continue to advance in our racial equity, advance in our learning and growing for not only those yes. who, who represent the community at large, but it's also an opportunity for me to grow as somebody who earned the trust for my community member and uh, be in these positions. And for that, I'm very grateful. What I bring to this position is the lived experience of our communities and the, the voice of communities that aren't necessarily heard. Some say that I have a unique perspective on things, but from my own perspective, I think I'm the mainstream voice for our communities. My family came here from India with $6 and a dream for a better life. I believe that my background in housing and housing affordability and sustainability in the environment, along with my diversity and equity lens, has been able to serve not only my community and my neighbors, but the state. We need voices like mine at the table where we're making decisions for generations to come. Thank you.